rumor says John Hunter Nemechek could be out at Legacy Motor Club in 2025. Matt Mills got released from the hospital after he got wrecked by Connor Jones. And let's talk about the Martinsville tire for this weekend. Welcome back to Break Hard. I'm Matt. We had an all-time classic on Sunday in the NASCAR Cup Series race at Homestead. Best playoff race ever. Best race in Homestead history, more than likely. And really hope that track gets the championship race back in 2026. But we're headed to Martinsville this upcoming weekend. I'll be in attendance for all three races, actually. And hey, listen, all five Cup Series races I've been to this year, Hendrick Motorsports has one in. So if you're a Hendrick Motorsports fan, Sunday might be a good day for you. I'm not. I'm just saying it could be a good day. It is weird that all of them have been won by Hendrick drivers this year, uh, but we'll see if the streak continues on Sunday. But before we get to Martinsville this weekend, let's talk about a rumor that has been floating around on the internet for a little bit over a week now, and that being around John Hunter Nemechek and his status at Legacy Motor Club for 2025. Is it about to be another one and done uh, year in the Cup Series for John Hunter Nemechek? So uh, back before the Las Vegas race uh, or the morning of the Las Vegas race, the couch racer account run by Freddie Kraft, Brett Griffin, the guys over at Dorman Clear, tweeted out that one driver really needed to outrun his boss on Sunday. Now, there's only a handful of drivers that could be Eric Jones, John Hunter Nemechek, because Jimmy Johnson was in that race. Uh, it could have been Chris Buescher because Brad Keselowski was in that race, but unlikely because they're both race winners uh, this season. Then you have Bubba Wallace, Tyler Reddick, because their team owner, uh, Denny Hamlin's also in the race. But general consensus from the internet is that it was talking about John Hunter Nemechek, and because there have been some rumors that Legacy was potentially looking at making some changes. Then on Monday of this week, today, uh, NASCAR Rumors Nostalgia on Instagram, who typically has pretty good information, tweeted out that they had also heard this, and they're putting it out just in case it did happen. Now, I don't love that approach to things, but to each their own, you guys and anybody can do whatever they want, but you know, if I hear a rumor, I'm not going to say anything about it until it gets, you know, confirmed by multiple people. So I reached out to a few people uh, in the know over the last week and then on Monday as well, and was told by everybody that mm, still fully expect John Hunter Nemechek to be back in that 42 car next season. Yeah, it hasn't been a banner year for him, but he does have more top tens than Eric Jones, who just got an extension over at Legacy. In the Cup Series this year, John Hunter Nemechek has four top 10 finishes. Eric Jones, meanwhile, does have one top five and two top tens. Uh, his average finish, John Hunter's this year, is 25.1. Meanwhile, Eric Jones is, is 23.1. Uh, he did miss a couple of races as well, and Corey Heim filled in here, there for him. But according to the rumor that it would be John Hunter out, Corey Heim in for 2025. Now listen, Corey Heim is a five-star prospect. Blue chip, can't miss, grade A, everybody, any team in the NASCAR Cup Series garage would absolutely love to have a Corey Heim behind the wheel for that to be their development driver. Now, a uh, Toyota Racing Development, as we've talked about before, has an issue with Heim. And it's not a Corey Heim issue, it's a Toyota Joe Gibbs issue, and they don't have anywhere to put him because he's not going to Joe Gibbs Racing. We've talked about that a bunch of times. He and Ty Gibbs absolutely famously do not get along. So that's why he's not running a Joe Gibbs Racing Xfinity car. That's why he's not in line for a Joe Gibbs Racing NASCAR Cup Series ride. They have to find another spot for him. Obviously, 2311 Racing would be a fantastic landing spot for him. He is a reserve driver as well, but that third car, assuming it still happens, is expected to go to Riley Herbst. That leaves Legacy Motor Club as a possible landing spot for him, and they're not buying a third charter next year. I think that that's in their plans for the future, but you got to start running better. You can't just keep naming everybody uh, a vice president and not have the results show. So Corey Heim finding a spot for him, it would make logical sense, but I've been told a Again, by the same people that Corey Heim is going back to the truck series next year at Tricon. It's been announced. He's going, it's going to happen. Don't expect any changes there. So fully expect John Hunter Nemechek to be back at Legacy in 2025. Uh, what happens beyond 25? Well, of course, that's up in the air. Who knows what silly season is going to hold for next year. But don't expect John Hunter Nemechek to not be in that 42 car and expect Corey Heim to be back into uh, that truck series ride next season and hope hope that McAnally finds somebody, anybody, to replace their two or to fill their two open seats next year as Eckes and Die depart. Because if not, Corey Heim has the chance to go on an absolute tear in the truck series next year. Like he's Ty Gibbs and Arca. It could be an absolute bloodbath out there. Uh, but hey, there are certainly drivers in the truck series right now that can make that step up next year as well. We'll have to wait and see. It's the beauty of racing. But expect John Harnemichek back in that 42 car next year. 
following his crash in Saturday's NASCAR Truck Series race at Homestead Miami Speedway after he got intentionally wrecked by Connor Jones. Matt Mills spent two nights in the hospital. He spent Friday or Saturday night and Sunday night in a local area hospital because of smoke inhalation from that crash. Highly unfortunate that he was even involved in this crash. Even worse that he had to spend two nights in the hospital while the guy that wrecks him is like, hey, we've had a lot of run-ins this year. Uh, potentially used an AI generator to craft his, his statement and didn't really seem that apologetic overall. So for Matt Mills, really happy that he's out of the hospital uh, now and, and can continue on with his racing career. Never want to see anybody get sent to the hospital. Really don't want to see anybody get sent to the hospital because of an intentional wreck on a speedway. That, is, to me, is the biggest part of all of this. Connor Jones famously loses his head uh, in every series that he's in. We saw Roger Caruso say that he's been doing it since Legend Cars. We know that he's been doing it in late models. We know that he's been doing it in Arca and trucks. The kid just is a hothead, and he hasn't had anybody ever put him in his place. And then to go out and intentionally wreck somebody on a speedway, well, that just proves that he has no business being up here, in my opinion. If you're going to do that, wait until Martinsville. Dump him at Martinsville because chances are he's not going to wreck that badly, but you can ruin his day at the same time. Meanwhile, not only did you ruin his day, you ruined a racetrack and he sent him to the hospital for two nights, all because you couldn't control your emotions. And then you go absolutely screaming over the radio like you're Kurt Busch and his radioactive prime uh, after it, trying to justify it when it's like, that's not a justifiable offense, dude. So, yeah, happy Matt Mills is out of the hospital. Um, hope NASCAR does something about this. Obviously, everybody's like, well, the garage is going to police itself. I'm just not sure the garage is going to police itself on this one, because if you do, you're going to get a big fine out of it, too. So I'm not sure if, you know, the juice is worth the squeeze in this situation. Yeah, you could teach him a lesson, but at the same time, it's going to come out of your checking account. And it's like, I don't think it's worth it. And this is an 18 year old kid who's not going to learn a lesson worth the spend. Mm, probably not. Um, with Connor Jones. So happy Matt Mills is out of the hospital. Hopefully something happens for Connor Jones to have a bit of a reality check and be like, listen, dude, if you don't get it under control here, like this is not going to work out well for you. Also finishing the top 10 one time in a Thor sport truck, that would be ideal. Um, not that running well justifies being a bad person, but like feel like the underperformance here uh, says more than, than anything. And the last topic of the day, Martinsville getting new tires this weekend for the NASCAR Cup Series race, the softest tires that Goodyear's ever made. So the right side tires that the Cup cars will use this weekend will be the same right side tires they used at North Wilkesboro and at uh, Richmond, the soft tire at Richmond earlier this year. The left side tires will be an even softer compound, the softest compound that Goodyear has made. And it has a lot of people curious as to what is going to happen here. Now, obviously, everybody thinks back to Bristol earlier in the spring when and we had an absolutely chaotic tire race. Is that going to happen this weekend? I don't think so. The high temperature on uh, Sunday is only 66 degrees, but they're not putting resin down on the racetrack, which certainly seemed to play a factor um, with the tires back in the spring. So I don't think we're going to see that. The other big question is, is it going to put down so much rubber that it becomes ineffective here? Now, we did see that last year in the uh, Cup Series race at Martinsville, where they put a thicker tread on the tire, and then it goes out and lays a ton of rubber down at Martinsville. It painted those corners black, but it didn't really do much to improve the racing. So as much as we think that it want to think that it might be a wild card, I'm really not sure going into this race. Teams will have a 45 minute practice on Saturday to try to get a handle on how these tires are. I kind of wish that they just went into it with a 15 minute practice and we're like, here you go, guys. But it is a championship race. I do think that we need more practice overall, um, but it will be interesting to see how these tires wear and sort of what they do this weekend on or at Martinsville. Obviously, it has concrete corners, so that's going to throw a bit of a curveball into it. And ultimately, the the idea here is to make tires that wear out so that we have some sort of passing um, you know, at Martinsville, because the last few additions there, especially in the Gen 7 era, have been lackluster to say the least. Now, of course, getting rid of shifting would go a long way, but we've already discussed how that is an issue that is not going to be tackled anytime soon, uh, because essentially you're going to need more RPMs out of these engines and the gearing and the situation that we have currently, we're not getting, we're just not getting that. So shifting will remain um, at Martinsville. Now the idea uh, with the soft tires is to get those to wear out, to be able to you know increase passing, and, and hopefully we get something along those lines. Is it going to happen? Man, I, I hope so. Obviously at Miami, we saw a great 
a great race because well there's throttle management off throttle time and tire management that goes into that tires wear out very fast there if we can get a tire that wears out in martinsville it could potentially create a very entertaining race if we get an absolutely chaotic race like we had at bristol back in the springtime well everybody strap in because who knows what's going to happen here maybe that's what denny hamlin needs to finally win and lock himself into the championship uh race at phoenix and then who knows what happens when we get out to the desert and a little over a week's time uh uh, well, I guess it's about two and about two weeks time uh, to get there. So for now, it's going to be interesting how it is at Martinsville. I'll be in attendance for all three races, um, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, so I'll bring you a first hand report of the tire situation. Uh, I hope for a good race. I hope it is better than what we've seen there in the past. I'm glad NASCAR and Goodyear took this step to at least try a softer tire out. Like, hey, what's what's the worst that could happen here? Bristol in the springtime, uh, okay, that would be, you know, chaotic. But what they don't want to see is like, you know, teams come in and be like, hey, we could we could have ran 900 laps on the same tires. It would have been fine. Like, that's not ideal at all. So let me know in the comments what you think about the John Hunter Nemechek situation. Fully expect him to return uh, next season. Matt Mills getting out of the hospital. Plus, Goodyear bringing the softest tire they have to Martinsville this weekend. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Break Hard Blog.